Here we will discuss a very important question from the topic sequence and series. Here question is show that 1 into 2 square plus 2 into 3 square plus up to n into n plus 1 whole square upon 1 square into 2 plus 2 square into 3 plus and so on up to n square into n plus 1. This is equal to 3n plus 5 upon 3n plus 1. So, for solving this question, first of all, we have to see the format trend of the series, different terms of the series. We have to look at different terms of the series and we have to recognize the pattern of this series. So, in the numerator, we will do numerator and denominator separately. Okay? So, in the numerator, you see this is 1 into 2 square means this is first term. So, in first term, 1 into 1 plus 1 square. Already here this pattern is given. Okay? So, in numerator, in numerator, first of all, we we'll write nth term. So, nth term is already mentioned here, n into n plus 1 whole square, n into n plus 1 whole square and this is equal to n into n square plus 2n plus 1 and this is equal to n cube plus 2n square plus n. This is the value of Tn. Hmm? So, in fact, this numerator is sum of n terms. So, we have to find the sum of these terms. So, uh, this numerator will be equal to numerator will be equal to we have to find out sum and sum means sigma of tn and sigma will be applied here also n cube plus 2n square plus n and this is equal to this sigma will be distributed over all these terms. So, this is sigma n cube plus 2 sigma n square plus sigma n correct and uh, sigma n cube is equal to how much you know uh, we have already discussed the formula sigma of n cube means sum of cube of first n natural number is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 whole square and sigma n square we have also discussed this formula sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 and sigma n sigma n sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So, we will write all these corresponding values in this given expression. Okay? So, this is equal to sigma n cube is n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square okay? and second term is 2 sigma n square means n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6 and sigma n is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Correct? This 2 will be cancelled out with 6, 2 3 is 6. Now, in each of these three terms, n into n plus 1 is common. So, we can take n into n plus 1 common from these terms. Here we will get whole square is there. So, n into n plus 1 divided by 4, correct? Plus here n into n plus 1 is common. So, we will get here 2n plus 1 divided by 3. And here n n plus 1 is common. So, this is half. Correct? Now, we will simplify it. So, this is equal to here LCM will be how much? LCM will be 12. So, this 12 can be taken outside. So, this is n into n plus 1 divided by 12. And inside the bracket 4 3 are 12. So, 3 will be multiplied with this numerator. 
So, this is n square plus n into 3 means 3 n square 3 n square plus 3 n correct. Here 3 4 are 12 we have ok fine need not to write this one ok 12 is here. So, 3 4 are 12 and 4 will be multiplied with the numerator. So, 8 n plus 4 this is here plus we will write plus sign plus 8 n plus 4 correct and here 2 6 are 12 6 into 1 that is plus 6 and this is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 12 into the expression inside this bracket is 3 n square 8 and 3 11 n plus 10 ok. Now, this is a quadratic expression. So, we can factorize it by splitting the middle term. When you will multiply first and last term this will be 30 n square ok and this 11 n can be written as 6 n plus 5 n ok. So, this is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and here bracket 3 n square plus 6 n plus 5 n plus 10 and this is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and uh, what are the factors here. So, we can factorize it. So, we can take 3 n common from first two terms. So, n plus 2 and here we can take 5 common 5 into n plus 2. So, this is equal to n into n plus 1 and here n plus 2 and 3 n plus 5 n plus 2 and 3 n plus 5 divided by how much divided by this is 12 not 2 divided by 12. So, this is the value of numerator numerator is this much simply we have to find out the value of denominator then we will calculate the value of this fraction which should be equal to 3 n plus 5 divided by 3 n plus 1 ok. So, now let us see the denominator. So, what is the denominator here? 4 denominator nth term is equal to how much? You see this is the nth term, this is first term, this is second term and so on. So, this is nth term. So, nth term is n square into n plus 1 which is equal to n cube plus n square. So, therefore, sum in denominator is equal to how much? That will be sigma of T n means sigma of n cube plus n square means sigma will be distributed over both the terms. So, sigma n cube plus sigma n square correct and you know the formula for sigma n cube n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square. So, this is n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square and plus sigma n square. Sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6. So, this is n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6 correct. Here you see n into n plus 1 is common in both the terms. So, we can take common n into n plus 1 and from this first term we will get here n into n plus 1 divided by 4 and this second term 2 n plus 1 2 n plus 1 divided by 6 correct here LCM will be 12. So, this is n into n plus 1 divided by 12. When we will divide 12 by 4, we are getting 3, 4 3 is 12. So, 3 into this much means 3 n square plus 3 n, 3 
एन स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एन करेक्ट क्लियर एंड सिक्स टू जै ट्वेल्व सो टू इन टू टू एन प्लस वन दैट इज फोर एन प्लस टू सो दिस इज फोर एन प्लस टू एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू एन इन टू एन प्लस वन अपॉन ट्वेल्व लेट एस सिंप्लीफाई द एक्सप्रेस इन साइड दिस ब्रैकेट थ्री एन स्क्वायर प्लस सेवन एन प्लस टू सो वी कैन फैक्टराइज दिस क्वाड्रेटिक एक्सप्रेशन सो हेयर मल्टीप्लाई फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट टर्म दिस विल बी सिक्स एन स्क्वायर एंड स्प्लिटिंग द मिडिल टर्म सिक्स एन प्लस एन सेवन एन सो दिस इज एन इन टू एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू एंड दिस इज थ्री एन स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एन प्लस एन प्लस टू एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू एन इन टू एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू फैक्टराइज इट हेयर थ्री एन विल बी कॉमन सो थ्री थ्री एन इज कॉमन सो विल गेट हेयर एन प्लस टू एंड हेयर वन एन प्लस टू सो दिस इज इक्वल टू सॉरी दिस इज टू हेल्प ओके नॉट टू सो दिस इज एन इन टू एन प्लस वन हेयर एन प्लस टू विल बी कॉमन सो इन टू एन प्लस टू इन टू थ्री एन प्लस वन इन टू थ्री एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व सो दिस इज द वैल्यू फॉर डिनोमिनेटर एंड दिस इज द वैल्यू फॉर न्यूमरेटर सो दिस फ्रैक्शन न्यूमरेटर बाई डिनोमिनेटर देर फोर दिस फ्रैक्शन विच वी हैव टू वेलेट मीन्स न्यूमरेटर बाय डिनोमिनेटर इज गल टू हाउ मच न्यूमरेटर इज एन इंटू एन प्लस वन इंटू एन प्लस टू इंटू थ्री एन प्लस फाइव अपॉन ट्वेल्व एंड डिनोमिनेटर इज एन इंटू एन प्लस वन एन इंटू एन प्लस वन इंटू एन प्लस टू इंटू थ्री एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व सो यू सिंपली फाई इट मोस्ट ऑफ द फैक्टर्स विल बी कैंसल आउट एन विल बी कैंसल आउट हेयर एन प्लस वन विल बी कैंसल आउट एन प्लस टू विल बी कैंसल आउट दिस ट्वेल्व विल बी कैंसल आउट सो फाइनली वी आर गेटिंग द रिजल्ट विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री एन प्लस फाइव अपॉन थ्री एन प्लस वन so this fraction is equal to 3n plus 5 upon 3n plus 1 so we got the result here result has been established result has been proved here so question is very interesting very important just we have to remember this formula because without remembering this formula we cannot do this questions or this formula have been applied in this problem okay so you have to remember it it is must fine so hope you are enjoying this mathematics problems and we will do some more problems in other videos thank you very much for watching this video wish you all the best